The Social Security Act was signed into law in 1935 by President Franklin Roosevelt as income support for retired citizens. Over time, it has evolved to also provide financial security to disabled workers and survivors of deceased workers. Social Security works like this. From each worker paycheck, the Social Security Administration collects FICA taxes. These fund both Social Security and Medicare. For Social Security, workers are taxed 6.2% of their income, with employers matching this level up to the maximum income subject to the tax. This gives workers a total contribution of 12.4% of their annual income towards the program. The majority of those taxes go to pay benefits to current Social Security recipients, and any extra taxes are put into a trust fund. Beneficiaries receive a monthly check for a certain amount, depending on factors like total wages earned, age at retirement, or when they were rendered unable to work. To ensure they maintain their standard of living, benefits are annually adjusted to account for inflation. Some think Social Security is going bankrupt, but since the program uses taxes from current workers to pay current retirees, it is impossible to go bankrupt. The program also does not contribute to the national debt or the deficit, as some have suggested. All taxes and spending for the program happen independently of the federal budget. Social Security took in more money than it paid out in benefits until 2010, which created an enormous trust fund. But since 2010, the program has paid out more in benefits than it has received in taxes. Should this trend continue, the trust fund will be depleted by 2033. If that happened, without changes, the program would only be able to pay 76% of projected benefits, which is not ideal, but far from bankrupt. Some have proposed reducing benefits outright or doing so through a process called chain CPI, which reduces benefits over time through smaller annual inflation adjustments, raising FICA taxes, privatizing the program, or means testing, which would restrict the program to those with a financial need for it. There are also proposals to raise the retirement age since people are living longer, though increased life expectancy is primarily tied to reduced infant mortality, which has no effect on the program solvency. Other proposals that get less attention are to raise the minimum wage, thereby increasing FICA taxes per worker, or to raise or eliminate the maximum level of earnings subject to the tax. Advocates say that eliminating this cap could not only help protect the solvency of the trust fund, but even allow the program to lower the retirement age or increase benefits. Some question the very accuracy of long-term forecasts for the program, pointing out that long-term financial predictions are notoriously unreliable. A healthy economy and a strong labor market would increase tax receipts and quickly alter these predictions. Regardless of the debate, for almost half of working Americans, there are no other retirement support options. Tens of millions of elderly, widowed, and orphaned Americans rely on Social Security to maintain their livelihood, and Social Security benefits represent 4.9% of the GDP. This makes it an integral program for an economically healthy United States of America.